Welcome to Wisdom for the Day. Thank you so much for being here. Today is January 24th. We're continuing in the third chapter of Proverbs, verses 25 and 26, from the New Living Translation. I knew a couple that were trying to adopt a child from overseas. They prayed for God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They knew that they had almost no chance of bringing this child to America, but they felt like they needed to try. There were so many ways that the process could be stopped. Adopting him would take a miracle of God. And at that point, they'd be sure the adoption was in God's will. Well, there were several times that they came within two or three days of having to send this child back. And then God showed up in unexpected ways. They found confidence in God's power to see the process through. Their immigration lawyer said that adoption was impossible. But it was completed three months before that child would have been too old to adopt. Throughout the whole process, God was never late. But on the other hand, God wasn't early. Because I'm sure that God wanted them to rely on him instead of on their own immigration maneuvers. Here's something for you to contemplate. Hebrews 11, it has a definition of faith. Now faith is assurance of things hoped for, proof of things not seen. Well, that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow, but you can visit me at my website, wisdomfortheday.org. And now with a special request for you is my friend and fellow Christian podcaster, Stevens, from the Christ Alone podcast. Hey, brother. God bless you, Rick. I love the work that you do. I pray that God continues to bless everything that you do in your ministry with renewed mindsets and wisdom for a day. Both are awesome to listen to. Wisdom for a day. I love that you're going through Proverbs. My only gripe is that you thought of that before I could. (laughs) But I thoroughly enjoy everything that you do, brother, and I fully support it because I'm praying that God gives you wisdom and understanding to continue to do so, to continue to honor and glorify God. And I want to encourage your listeners to go, and if they haven't done so, go leave and write a review on applepodcast.com for renewed mindsets and wisdom for a day. God bless you, and God bless everybody. Thank you, Stevens. And God bless you and your wife, Angie, as well. You can find Stevens at ChristAlonePodcast.com. Stevens is organizing a network of Christian podcasts to make it easier for you to find quality shows, as well as for collaboration between the content creators. Y'all pray for his ministry. Until next time, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.